I know um, it's still a taboo topic nowadays. Persons are not comfortable to share the story because it's a melee thing. But um, I would just like for more people to come out um, to share the story so let others know that um, it's very important to share, to motivate, inspire other person because there's a lot of person going through a lot nowadays and having breast cancer and living with it, it's not easy. It's a life change um, journey because your body, and mentally and physically, everything changes. Mm -hmm. And it's good to bring awareness so persons know what all it entails so that persons around you could know um, how to deal with a person that going through breast cancer or are going through it and who have gone through it. When you see the country of St. Martin being painted pink, there's a lot of awareness now. There's more awareness foundations, groups. How does that make you feel? Well, to be honest, um, it makes me feel good right. to know that persons are more um, conscious of their health, especially breast cancer and little St. Martin, believe it or not. I don't have the statistics, but I remember speaking to a doctor in St. Martin and he said, there's a lot of women here in St. Martin. Um, he said he also doesn't have the statistics, but it's more than a certain amount. So small St. Martin is a lot so that much. has breast cancer. So by us coming out sharing our stories, right. it's, it's really um, inspiring and for others to know that it's okay and it's just an illness and if it's detected early it can be treated but once you wait and um, go to the doctor later on most of the time it does be fatal so we are um, advocating to go get checked and detect it so that it can be detected early so that it can be treated right your colleague yeah. also mentioned about getting tested getting tested getting tested That's she right. hammered that home do you feel the same way of yes, course we'll get checked we'll get tested right yes. like i said early detection saves life and when you detect it early it can be treated and then you can live a, a healthy life and also most people say oh you guys look nice and stuff like that but right. it, it takes a lot right and it's just like us going out to get tested and and know that we can move forward how important is support for you? I think it's important that people understand that, that the support system is different depending on that survivor. But I mean, when you, when it's, when you reach to that time where it's hard and you have to go through these radiation and, and chemo and all these different things, mm -hmm. um, support for you, what was that like? Well, support for me, well, actually support helped save my life because I was a very active person in the community doing everything for myself, even though I'm married and have kids. But you know, most of the work still relies on the mother. And there I was when I was diagnosed, going through chemotherapy, got weak, throwing up. Practically, my support system had to step in because a simple taking a shower, um, eating. Every time I eat something solid, I used to throw up. So everything had to be liquefied. Mm -hmm. And my support system, my husband, my kids, my mom, everybody had to jump on board. They had to clean the bathroom because when you take chemotherapy, it's like a poison in your body. So right. you had to constantly clean the bathroom. They had to um, help me take a shower. Right. They had to practically do everything for me. And so I was happy that I have that support system because I'm talking to some ladies now that don't have support system and that makes them, puts them in this depression and when you're going through an illness, you need someone to help you right. get through that because mentally it takes a toll on you. And if you don't have that support, I could imagine you feel like not loved and that could help deteriorate and make the, the illness even worse for me. That would help me to fight because I had all these people around me. I felt loved. I felt like I need to fight because these people don't want to see me go. So support system is very important. All right, and talk to me now about what you're doing. Are you part of any foundation? Are you supporting foundations who are making sure that they bring added awareness to this? What are you doing? Well, at the moment, I want, um, I'm an ambassador for breast cancer awareness. Okay. I'm part of all foundations because we collaborate, Positive Foundation, Electrolytes and Still Beautiful Foundation. They collaborate and they have a breast cancer support group um, every last Thursday of the month, the fourth Thursday of the month. Okay and we breast cancer survivors and our support system comes together. We share stories or we have a professional come and communicate 
um, how to you know treat breast cancer or um, self-care whatever topic is of interest brief survivors the presidents of the foundation brings them together to bring information for us and for me I personally, I do mentor ladies that doesn't want to come out in the public. Right. So I mentor them in private. I go out with them, just you know, give them that support and encouragement to let them know that I was on my dying bed and thought that I would not be here, but at least there's someone that they can speak to that went through it and it's okay. And if I've been through it and I'm, I come out victorious, they can too. Do you think you allow those ladies who um, who have, have been hurting and, and been being um, alone and behind the scenes with this um, cancer. You think that by having them a part of these mentoring sessions or even the one-on-ones when you go out with them, you think that makes them come out and maybe be able to testify to someone else about their journey? Well, at the moment, um, I have five and they're very private. Um, they only share it with their families at the moment. They're right. not ready for various reasons to come right. out in the public, but they applaud that I have the courage to do so because it Correct. takes courage to share your story. It takes courage to um, let person know that you have an illness and the issues um, living with the illness, and because it's not everybody is receptive in a positive way. And I have a broad shoulder, so if someone negatively take my illness and bad talk or whatever, I can deal with it. But other people, they cannot, so they rather be private and they don't wanna share it only to their family, the ones that I'm dealing with, only to the family at the moment. And they said when they feel that it's right, if they will want to, they will share it. But at the moment, not. How important is it to have the breast cancer awareness even when it's not October? So when the October month where it's um, you know, globally celebrated, um, to still have different things that, that you know, let people know publicly, come out to be a part of this workshop. You know, be a part of this info session, mm -hmm. share your story. How important is it that the, the awareness continues, is yeah. what I'm asking. Um, um, I'm glad that you asked that, Audrey, because I keep telling people October is the hype. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month, for, but for a survivor, a person who's going through it, it's all year round. So early detection save lives. So the earlier you go and get checked, do not wait until October. Anytime you feel that um, once you're over 35, both men and women, Men is not off the hook. <laughs> Both men and women, once you're over 35, please go get checked. Do not wait until October. October is just the awareness month, but anytime during the year when you're doing your annual checkups, go get checked. And what about if somebody wants to touch base with you, uh, Yolanda, to understand um, if it is a lump, isn't a lump, and they want to ask you a question, per se. Mm -hmm. Are you online? Do you allow people to touch base with you via your social media platforms? How does that work with you? Well, as an ambassador? Most, well, as an ambassador now, um, they can um, contact me via my Facebook page, Yolanda Jackson Martina. I also have an Instagram, Yoli2022, um, 20, if I'm mistaken. And also via any of the foundation, because like I said, we collaborate together. And right. most of the time, they contact the foundation and they contact me directly. I will prefer that method because um, sometimes I cannot um, make it, but any one of the other survivors can talk to them. It doesn't have to be per se me. Correct. So they can contact anyone from the foundation. All right. Would you look in the camera here and tell anybody who's watching this who's going through this same cancer mm -hmm. and needs motivation, you can tell them, I mean, a summary of what you, Yolanda, have to say. Go right ahead. Anyone looking at this, um, all access with Audrey Black, please go out and get checked. Do not wait until that is October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month go out and get checked, early detection saves life. And I'm a living testimony that having breast cancer is not a taboo topic, it's not a death sentence. So if I can go through it and be victorious, you can too. So please go get checked.